former President Trump has spent more time in court this week than on the campaign trail. He attended closing arguments at his civil fraud trial in New York, getting into a clash with the judge in the case, and is now awaiting the verdict. Our senior investigative correspondent, Eric Katursky, is at the courthouse in downtown Manhattan. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. With the trials now over, so former President Trump is waiting to find out if he has a future in the industry and the city that he used to create an image of himself as a titan of real estate. This morning, Donald Trump is waiting for a judge to decide the outcome of a case that accused the former president of exaggerating his wealth on a decade's worth of financial statements so he could get favorable terms on loans. In a dramatic conclusion to a contentious trial, Trump defied the judge and plowed ahead with a terse statement he was never authorized to give. I'm an innocent man, Trump said. I've been persecuted by someone running for office. Ignoring the judge's ground rules to stick to the facts, Trump sat at the defense table and attacked the case, saying what's happened here, sir, is a fraud on me. He attacked New York Attorney General Letitia James. She sued me, he said, to try to get publicity. And he attacked the judge, complaining, you can't listen for one minute. The judge told Trump's attorney, control your client. The judge finally holding up his phone to signal Trump's time was up. This is a case that should have never been brought, and I think we should be entitled to damages. The attorney general wants the judge to force Trump to pay $370 million in penalties and to bar him from doing business in New York. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how rich you are, that no one is above the law. Her team arguing Trump should be held accountable, asking would any of this persistent fraud have happened if it wasn't directed from the top by Mr. Trump? There was no jury, so the judge is going to decide the verdict himself. He has already held Trump liable and said he would decide by the end of the month whether to impose a fine or some other penalty that could significantly curtail Trump's ability to conduct any commercial real estate transaction for the foreseeable future. Eva? Aaron Katursky there for us. Thank you, Aaron. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.